Hi everyone, Sarah here. I have a great card to share with you today. I made a couple of them. <laughs> um, I do have a process video for this. They go through step by step on how I created and put together these little shadow box cards. But I thought I would show you um, close up each of them and then also the products that I used for them. I apologize for my voice. I am um, a bit congested so I may lose my voice every now and then. All right, so um, for the cutout in the card, you can see that there's some dot detail on it. These are Nelly's multi frames that I purchased from a local stamp store. Um, they just come in all those different shapes, and these are the squares, rounded squares. So that is that die. Um, for the little fences and the stitched hillsides, I did use this die, which is super awesome. Oh, sorry. From Die Cuts and More, this is an Indian India company. Um, I purchased this one, it's super awesome. It's very long. Unfortunately, I can't reach my big ruler right now, but I'll just show you my little ruler here. This one is seven inches. So it's about seven and a half. So it's a really good die set to have. It has the fence and then the stitched tail side. So I use those. And then for some of the cards that have words on them, I also use some word dies from Die Cuts and More. This one is happy. And this one is thanks. This one has an outline, but I just used the actual word die. And then a couple of the stamp sets. These are new ones here. Well, not new, new, but this is new, new. <laughs> Puppy's Favorite Things by Neat and Tangled. And then I also brought out Kitty's Favorite Things to use for some of these cards. And those ones I have the dies to go with from the Not Too Shabby Shop. Okay, so the card I created because I really love the pop-up card die from Lawn Fawn, but price-wise and size-wise, it's pretty small. I believe it's like just kind of like that small. So I decided to create one that would be exactly four and a quarter by five and a half when it's folded. So here's a standard envelope and here's my card. Four and a quarter by five and a half when it's folded, it'll fit inside. And then my plan is to put a die cut panel on the back that you can write us your, um, your message on to whoever you're sending the card to. So this is the first one using Kitty's favorite things. So you can see it has the two layers and then I also put this one on the front of the card. So it's technically kind of three layers. So this one says you are practically perfect. So cute. So there's the kitty. Uh, here's the puppy. It says hot diggity dog, it's your birthday. Again, folds flat, but it sits like this. It's very cool. And then I'll show you, this is the first one that I made. So basically with these three, what I did was I took stamped images that I had in my box that I had already stamped and colored and cut out. So these, all of these images have been sitting collecting dust in my room. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So I decided to use them to create the scenery. So you can see these trees, the little clouds. The clouds are from, I believe, a lawn pawn set. I'm not sure which one. But the trees and the bear are all from a neat and tangled set. Um, there's another small tree behind her there. And this is a little greeting farm girl. And this is where I put the thanks. And then this one is, this is the little girl from the neat and tangled set. I believe it's like fawn fond of you or something like that. So again, super cute, folds flat. And then this one was Elfie Selfie. These little elephants I've had um, colored up. This one and this one are from, uh, what set is it? I can't remember the name of it. It was one of the summer sets with like the the uh, beach characters. So, turned out super awesome. I love how these are. I love the size of them. A lot more room to create your little scene in them. 
Okay, so I have the full process video on how I created them and it's all going to be attached for you. So um, these were just my jot notes when I was making it because I was thinking of doing landscape and portrait, but it only worked out to do the uh, landscape. So your piece of paper is um, going to be five and three quarters by four and a quarter and you need two of those. So five and three quarters by four and a quarter and you're going to score the short edge on four inches and five and a half inches. And then the inside pieces that are used are just four inches. The height of them varies on what you want to put inside of them. So basically I just cut them and then used my landscape die and then placed them in there. They do go down to the bottom, but depending on how you want to place them, it's up to you. All right, so stay tuned to see the process. Again, it's just the, um, the sizes, the scoring, and the putting together of the card. How to put them all together nice and easily. Um, so there's no coloring on these ones because these were all pre-colored images. All right, hope you enjoy. Okay, so I want to show you how I created my little um, pop-up box card, which is uh, fashioned in the same design as the new Lawn Fawn die. Uh, I really, really like the Lawn Fawn die, but I noticed that the card that they make is really small. So I created one myself, which is, I'll just show you. When it's folded flat, it's the exact same size as a full size card. So it's five and a half by four and a quarter. So it's exactly the same size as a regular card. It'll fit in your regular envelopes. And then when it pops up, you have this nice big space to create your little scene in. And I still have two little layers inside. Okay, so to start off with, I cut two pieces of paper that are five and three quarters by four and a quarter. So two of these exactly the same. And then you're going to score them at four inches and five and a half inches. Both sheets, score them at four inches and five and a half. So you'll see those are exactly the same. And then to create my window, just go through your dies and see what you have. Um, I happen to have these Nelly multi frames that I purchased from a local scrapbook store or stamp store here. Um, these are the squares and they have a little dotted detail on the inside and outside. So when I cut it out, I have this dotted detail on there. And I was able to use the second largest in this set and it fits here. So the front of your card, once it's folded, is going to be, just want to double check, four inches across and then you're four and a quarter high. Okay, so a square fits in there nicely. You just have a little more space on the top and bottom than you do on the sides. And you want to center that in your um, four inch section that you have scored off. Okay, so we have those two pieces. Um, this one I have scored, but I will just reinforce my scores here. So those ones are ready to be put together. If you want to, you can put your base piece of paper here. I did use some watercolor wishes from Lawn Fawn in the blue just to put in my sky. Okay, so then for your um, pieces that go on the inside to attach your designs to, I have cut out two pieces of green paper that are four and a half inches, because remember you're finished across the front is four inches, so you add a quarter to each side. So they are four inches and scored a quarter on either side. Um, basically at this point then you can just choose whatever sort of stitched landscape or grass edge dies, anything that you want to use to edge, or you can cut paper, it doesn't matter, you don't have to use dies. But for these ones I chose these dies from Die Cuts and More. There's the name right up there. These are the ones from India and they are very, very cool because these are super long. So um, they are about seven and three quarters inches long all the way across. So they're really good if you're doing like scrapbooking pages and stuff also and you want some longer pieces. Um, and also for the letter size cards that you're doing. So 
but these are very very cool I really love the fence so that's why I chose these ones to use so I use the stitched landscape here and then I also die cut some white pieces of fence and that is where I attached one for across the front and then I put one on my back layer also right up there so for the front you just need a piece that's four inches so just those quarter inch shorter on either side okay and you want to make sure that your all your edges are at different spots so that when you're looking at your card you can see all all its sides of it all right so we'll start putting it together here the first thing that I do is cut off my little corners this makes it easier to attach and I'm also going to do that on pieces of grass and it just makes it less bulky when you're attaching it to your card a piece of paper for my background wherever it went <laughs> so there's the watercolor wishes paper got a couple different choices you have some dark blues some turquoises and then there's the lighter blue This piece for your background you want to cut it down to four by four and a quarter and I didn't ink up the edges on this one I just left it the way that it was I did ink the edges on the other pieces um, all of my grass edges are all inked with distress ink and just the front frame of my card. So this is our back of our card and that's where we're going to attach the watercolor wishes paper. I'm just going to use some wet glue. use my bone folder there to make sure it's nice and flat <laughs> making a big mess you want to make sure it's not sticking out so when you've attached it flip it over and then just trim off your edges I find my paper trimmer does not do squares anymore And then we are going to attach some very thin double-sided tape to the edges of our flaps. Now on the back one, I attach it on the outside, but for the front one, I'm attaching it on the inside because I've already attached this paper down, so I want to um, wrap it around the back end of the card. You'll see as we're putting it together. Okay, so we just start off by attaching the back edge first. So you want to take off your tape and then you're going to take your frame and you're going to just butt it up against the edge here. And 
and push it down. So there we have created that. Now before I close off the other side, I want to attach the pieces that go on the inside. So the first thing that I'm going to do is put my fences on. So you don't need to put fence on the whole thing. It's up to you what you want to do. It's going to go on the front. So this one. It's going to go out there. You can keep these little pieces. You can use them for other things. And this one here. To attach it, I'm just going to put some glue down at the bottom edge. Just a little bit. And then take your grass and place it on top. And then you want to score your edges here. Score the edges on the other piece. Okay, so to attach them, you're going to lay your card flat. You're going to take the one that goes going into the back of the card, and you want to open the flap on the right and close the flap on the left. We're going to put some glue on it, and we're just going to place it about a quarter of an inch in. Make sure the bottom stays straight across with the card. And then take the other one that's going to go in the front and do the same thing. Left flap comes out, right flap stays under. Add your glue to the right flap. And place it about halfway in between there and line it up across the bottom. And just press down your glue. And then you can flap them open and just kind of reinforce it a little bit. And then what we're going to do is, laying them flat, add some glue to your flaps, and then just close the front of the card on top of it and press down. You want to let that glue dry a little bit before you push it around too much. But there you will see you've created your two layers inside of your card and then we can remove the tape from the last flap line it up and close it over I'm just gonna burnish it there we go and then to decorate the front, I decided to do a layer of grass with the fence also, so that I could put my thanks word die on there. <coughs> Excuse me. The thanks word die is also from Die Cuts for the View. It's one of the ones that has the outline, but I just used the word itself. And I just attach on my fence and then glue it to the front of your card. And then decorate with all your images inside. For this one, I added a little greeting farm girl. And then this little bear and the trees are from a neat and tangled uh, lumberjack set. There's another tree back there. And then these um, clouds, I believe, are from a lawn fawn set. Can't remember which one, but they, I just had them already colored up in my box of images. 
Alright, so hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, remember you can use your dies that you have in your stash to pretty much create anything. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks, bye!